Hello, fabulous Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is going to be this month that fully four planets will be retrograde by the time we get to the middle of the month, including, of course, Venus in your opposite sign. And so while a whole lot of us out there of many different signs will be taking on a greater reflective quality, the fact that there is a powerful full moon in the sign just before yours adds not only the reflective energy of this time, but the energy of wisdom, of contemplation, and of healthy closures. Now the emphasis is on the healthy, and that is because this full moon happening right around the seventh of the month and the sign just before yours will be speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune. That brings with it faith and inspiration. It brings with it a sense of knowing that you are guided at this time. It infuses and enforces faith. We will also have Mercury standing across the sky from this full moon, which tells me that awareness may come through interactions with other people, may come by surprise and come quickly. And yet it is awareness that is needed. It isn't so much that there is a method to the contemplation now, but rather that sense of becoming reflective comes on quickly, allowing you to then reach for a deeper wisdom. And wisdom is so strong at this time. This full moon is about closing karmic ties, ending karmic chapters, knowing what it is that has served its karmic purpose in your life. And that is going to be so important for you and actually part of a larger theme. Starting next month, and I know that's next month and we'll talk about it when we get there, but I did want to mention it to you now. But you are going to start having a series of eclipses in your sign and your opposite sign. It starts next month with you and a powerful lunar eclipse happening in your sign in the early part of June. But by the time we move later in the year, that is when eclipses happen, not only in your sign, but your opposite sign, as well as the nodes are gonna change signs and more comfortably be in your sign and opposite sign by that point. So again, I'll be talking about this every step of the way, but this is a powerful moment and a powerful time for you. This is one of those moments that is going to ask you to clear the space, knowing that even with a full moon, even though it's the south node entering your sign, which is going to bring with it a year and a half of healthy closures, it is still this time that is going to clear the way so that those closures also hold with them beginnings that the clarity that finds you now carries you forward, not just in the weeks ahead, but for the coming year and a half and even beyond. It is that important and consequential a time. It is as we navigate later into the month that so much of the focus becomes increasingly on another person, a one-on-one -on -one alliance. Now, much of this I did speak of in the Venus retrograde special horoscope. So I'm just gonna to link to that in the description below. But where it is that Venus is going retro in the middle of the month, well, that is where we are going to have a new moon right around the 22nd, same part of the sky, your opposite sign. And that new moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn. Whereas the Venus retrograde season brings with it confusion and uncertainty and mixed feelings and mixed messages, it is that new moon that brings stability. It is as if you glimpse an understanding of what a mature and self-respecting approach is and allow yourself a new beginning from that place. Now, many of you are gonna experience this energy in the context of business partnerships, professional alliances, it is that new moon in particular that is going to allow you to connect with new people, especially professionally. That is where some of the most powerful alliances with that potential for stability are taking place. And so it's a good idea to be open to connecting with new people online or otherwise, because I know right about now, 
it is online that many connections are taking place. But using technologies, connecting with people online is a wonderful way to engage this energy as part of meeting those who are new. But given that Venus is in your opposite sign, love is going to be a huge theme for you now as well. And this is an incredibly important Venus retrograde season for you. I know I just said there is a video about that. Please do watch that. That is going to be so important for Sagittarians because of all the signs out there, you are one of the signs most likely to feel that confusing energy of May in the context of your one-on-one -on -one attractions and established bonds. But that new moon is so promising. It is that sense of knowing that even with a lack of certainty, you know that you are moving in a more stable direction where it comes to partnership and where it comes to love. And that is something that can carry you forward. Not so much a faith or a, a putting all your hopes on a person, but rather knowing that you can believe that there is partnership, there is alliance, there is love in the world for you and to find strength and stability in that. So if it is that you are open to meeting someone new with a Venus retrograde season like this, with a new moon like this, chances are you will be connecting with someone at this time. Remember, as I said in the Venus retrograde special horoscope, that's the third time I said that, but it is uh, your sign that is one of the signs most likely and i'm so sorry to say but catfishing very possible is one of the ways this energy can show up for you so i do want you to be careful and yet there is that new moon that is it's almost the opposite of what catfishing represents where that's all about the illusion and you being presented with something going along with something that new moon is clear it is practical it is grounding it is stabilizing and that is a beautiful window that does suggest connecting with someone in a meaningful way for those of you who are just starting to date someone there might be a lot of hope this month there might be a whole lot of mixed messages but once we get to that new moon it is a chance to start fresh if you're able to move beyond the full moon early this month with the closure it promises and you still find yourself connected to this person, well, that new moon can provide a fresh understanding and a newfound honesty with each other. And for those of you who are in an established bond, well, let me say I love that new moon in the second part of the month. It suggests a strengthening of commitments and advancing of the relationship. And it does suggest that the two of you are feeling more deeply committed on levels of heart, on levels of practicality in the ways in which you live your life. At the same time though, with Venus retrograde, all the answers may not be there just yet, but that really is okay because the stability is there at this time. What I love about this month for you, well, look, I do think that that Venus retrograde season, that's the fourth time I've said that, look, it is an adventure without a doubt for you. It is going to be other people that may downright confuse you at this time. And just when you thought you knew or maybe you knew somebody for a really long time, again, business partnerships or even professional alliances and even love alliances as well, you thought you knew, but... Here it is, uncertainty, which is a part of connecting with others because we don't have control over other people. And if we think we do, it really is an illusion. Well, this month is going to make the illusions more pronounced, but it will also make it more clear what the reality is and what actually brings stability into those bonds that you share with others. And you may find that it's not the ephemeral qualities, but rather it is what people actually show you to be true. You know, as Maya Angelou said, when people show you who they are, believe them. Well, I do think that there are going to be people now who show you extraordinary things that not only can you believe, but you can respect, you can hold on to. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.